Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create titles, summaries, and descriptions for YouTube videos using AI. Let's hop over to YouTube. Here inside of YouTube, we're going to go to one of the videos. Uh, we're going to click over to the video link. One thing to keep in mind is that before you start, make sure that you've downloaded the widget called Glass. Uh, this is going to allow you to create the summaries for the videos. The one good thing about this tool is that they could actually import the transcriptions for up to two hour long videos versus in the past when we try to use the transcriptions that YouTube provides there was a limit for some reason doing it through this service it allows you to import all of it without any restrictions to time frames we've seen so far so let's click over on this link just give it a second for it to load uh, and then uh, glass will actually have all the descriptions here now that the transcriptions here what you like to do is click over to view AI summary this will launch chat GTP so here it normally what would happen is that it would, when you paste it on here it will go to the end of the summary so you just want to scroll all the way back up and this is something that we have preset already inside of uh, glass we pretty much put the action that we want the ai to take to come up with the script so create a youtube video descriptions based on the transcription below the name of the speaker is christo and his guest is james victoria And then at this point, you just want to kind of read through it and uh, go over and make sure that there's nothing that is wrong. So we'll probably just remove this bottom part here. And then I've seen that it's for YouTube videos in this title or, or the first sentence or in the stop provoking YouTube video, it does this a lot. So that's just something to keep in mind. So when you're uploading it, you want to say that every single time. Okay, perfect. So the next step from this, you would come back here to open AI, and then you can use a tool like Prompt Smart, which this tool you're able to come in and already put in some predetermined prompts for you to use. Let's go to YouTube prompts, uh, titles. And then from here, you know, you just kind of want to look through them and figure out, um, what are the captivating things? What are some things that it came up with that we can kind of put a couple of synthesis together. You can also give it more options for titles. So say. Like helveticizing everything that they do, they stripped away, like Burberry did it, a bunch of branches. So I mean, so far from Born to Iconic, I like the title that looks good. So the next part of this, what we actually want to do is we would go over to YouTube and we can come up and try to figure out what are some keywords that we can use from this video. So let's do. So what I like to do is to click on the most popular video that's ranking and then see what keywords are they using that I might have not thought of. So logo design, logo redesign, show ranking. So logo redesign is a good one. So redesigning logo. Um, something else that I talk about is these are the really good tools to use. Search volume, see it's low. So you already see new key and a logo. So I actually don't like using TubeBuddy that much. I think that analytics that you get from vidIQ, when it comes down to you finding this keywords here, I think this is better than the vidIQ one. So brand brand positioning, Dr. Clipboard. So another one, so like other things to think about is like who are, who's in the video. So James Victoria is another person that, you know, he's famous in a design area. So how to create a cover design, graphic designer, clipboard. So you can repeat this process. So let's go back to. And the other reason that you want to look 
through uh, the different hashtags or what people are going to be looking at is because this is another great way for your video to actually get recommended through YouTube. If you're using a lot of the same hashtags as other videos are implementing into their own. And then another great thing or not a great thing, but just another something to consider is you go back and just watch the video and then see is like, is there certain things that I missed? Conversely, I don't care how bad your logo is. It doesn't matter because I'm buying the car. Let's check in. Okay, right, cool. So now we have a good amount of words on here. Other things that we want to do is education set there. Vacation, I always like to put, you know, depending on the city or where it's at. So for this is the future. So I just put their address. So the client is based in, you know, South Florida. You want to put where that the client is, is from. Um, it's good. It's good. So video elements, monetization on. I'd like to do one video and subscribe, but actually normally I just take out the subscribe. I just do one video and you just want to make sure that it comes on when there's you try to figure out when is it going to come on computers, a little internet's a little slow today. There you go. And I'll, I let for this part, I always let best reviewer just because the algorithms that are no better than us, what is she recommending them? Other things that you can do are add cards. Um, did you like to do the stew video? Sometimes you could do, uh, you no know, related videos to this. So what let's do. And I'll come back later on looking at the analytics to figure out, um, where's their drop offs based on the analytics. And I might want to add some cards in case somebody is going to drop off from the video. I want them to go to another one of our videos versus going to maybe one of our competitors. So from here, you just go to next next and you just leave it private until the next part would be actually creating a thumbnail for the video 